so excited. This is so fun. Okay, here we go. Hi guys. Hi. What are we doing today? Well, it's Christmas. We are gonna have a whole lot of fun with some holiday projects. We promise that if you guys follow us on Instagram and our Facebook, then you know we've been promising some holiday projects. And today we kick it off with our brand new classical cherub decor mold. It is in stores now shipping as we speak and already in some stores mm -hmm. so check with your stockist our on-store locator link below and this is the finished project we're going to be taking you through today it's surprisingly really simple it is super simple and really fun it's one it's of those so projects fun. that when you're done you go i just made that yeah i totally. made that i made that <laughs> So first, we're going to be working with resin, amazing casting resin, and we love it. It sets up while you wait mm -hmm. five you to ten minutes. You feel like a legit chemist when you're using it, too. Yes. Make you're going to measure. With casting resin, and most resins, they're catalyzed, so the measuring is important. So we're going to mix equal parts, and it just so happens that if we measure up to the 20 on each part, mill on each of these, that is the right amount for filling both of these. However, we only want to fill one at a time because we're doing a, we're gonna show you a little we're trick. We're doing a little tricky trick is here mm -hmm. and we want you to see that. So I'm going to fill to the 10. Sometimes it's a good idea to mark A and B on these as well as your, mm -hmm. to correspond with the, um, resin side that you're using so that you can keep on using these now i'm getting down and i'm really being accurate because like i said it catalyzes so it's equal parts and right to the 10 right yep right to the 10. and then we're doing the other half to the 10 as well Let me find <laughs> the 10. Mm. Okay, there we go. Your hair <laughs> was like, this is this the right one, right? Your hair smells good. Did you shower today? Wait a minute. Is this the right one? It's a little different, but okay, drams. Mill. Okay. So there's the mill. I do, I do. Okay, let's see. Okay, there. Okay. So now you have both of your equal parts. Now, it's important precisely. that if you're using plastic like we are here, make oh. sure it's not styrofoam. Styrofoam does not a good idea to use. It will like melt and make a big mess, sometimes catch on fire. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't yeah, do it. Don't so. do it. She's not joking. Somebody <laughs> actually said there's caught on fire. So. so we're going to mix it right in here, pour them in. Set this aside. Stir it. Stir it. Now. This is fun. This yeah. is the fun part. If you look closely, you'll see first it gets cloudy and then it clears up again. So you want to really mix it thoroughly. Once it clears up again, that's when you know it's mixed. Yeah, that's, you can see there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's enough for one of the molds. Exactly. Let's do it this way. So these are mirror images. So they're um, the you can exact put them back to back. Yeah. And it's better to slight if you're gonna err err on the side of underfilling than overfilling. But it's not that hard to get it just right up there. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm if going to... If in the very beginning, uh, when you pour the liquid in the mold, if you need to put take a toothpick or, or some, some object like Josie is and 
get it in yeah just kind of there. move the liquid around to yeah. where it goes right up to the edges so now we're going to wait for that to set up mm -hmm. it's going to create heat as it catalyzes and it'll start to turn white mm -hmm. the temperature in your work environment is going to have a great effect on how fast it sets up mm -hmm. so if it's colder it'll take a little longer and right about now people are wondering where do i get this amazing cast resin at our stores. Do tell. <laughs> <laughs> our stockists and uh, our online stores have this product. Uh, many of them have this product in stock, so exactly. check with them. Exactly. Now we are going to cut a piece about six inches long of this cotton cord that I bought. It's soft and kind of yummy. I like it. We love cotton fibers. Okay, so now you see this is starting to set up. It's got this bulk area, the area where it's thickest is starting to turn. And you'll find that the smaller, thinner areas. Acorns. <laughs> Take a little longer that up. But this is a great time to add our string in. And we are going to put it right here, about halfway down the wing area. I avoid getting this on my hands if you need to wear gloves to do, I, to do that. I recommend wearing gloves. It's just kind of annoying to have the resin on your hands. Ask it me is. how I know. It <laughs> is. For a full day. So just get it kind of set into there. And Perfect. Okay. So now we just let that set all the way up. You want to make sure that it's all white, solid through, and then you're going to test your edges. So let's give this a little time. So this is ready. As you can see, it is all white. It's cooled down. And when you go to crack the edges, see how nicely it just comes apart I from there? I love this part. It's fun. It's, so it's satisfying. Kind of satisfying. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> so we've got this cast and we're going to just set this aside. Oops. Sorry. Now we're going to cast in this one. And let's go ahead and pour again. Same amount. Perfect. <laughs> you get so intense and stressed out. I do when you're not. Doing it. <laughs> you do. I, I want it to be perfect. It okay. needs to be perfect. No, now, usually things don't need to be perfect, but <laughs> but when we are measuring resin, you pretty much want to nail it. All right. Now this is all cured. You can remove it. Get a clean cup. Whatever. We actually kind of. Don't worry too much about that. Let's get it poured. And it hasn't given us trouble yet. Mm -mm. We actually got that tip from Zeb. Zeb if you guys don't watch Jamie Ray Vintage, you've got to check out that show. They do lots of cool projects on they there. They do. Let's get this thoroughly mixed. Mix it, mix it. Mix They're it. all about the sweet farmhouse vibe. I love it. Vintage mm -hmm. farmhouse. Love that. Okay. Make sure that you pour the, the, the resin in the, the other. opposite side. Yeah. I mean, it's no big drama if you don't because you'll just have to do it again. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> exactly. Seriously, I have done it like th <laughs> like three different times, cast the wrong one and didn't realize it till I got it out. I'm like, it's the wrong <laughs> one. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Now we are going to let this set up till it is white and cloudy mm -hmm. but not all the way set and then we're going to marry them so we're just going to take this one now that this has gotten kind of cloudy and we are going to position it perfectly over it and remember it's a mirror image so it matches up and then we're going to lower it down in and with a little bit of pressure but not too much you don't want to um, flood out the resin underneath, but just enough so you know you're making good contact and those 
are bonding together. We're going to set it down in there. And then you might need to put a little pressure down on these wings to make sure that they're, again, they're bonding together. And I'm going to actually just hold it here for a moment until I know that they're bonded. Okay, so this is nice and cured and you can feel on the back it's cooled. So we're going to go ahead and remove it from the mold. Isn't that fun? Aww. And you'll see how these are um, sandwiched, in between. sandwiched in between. So you have this beautiful double-sided ornament. Now, if you have a little bit of seam coming through that you want to take care of, all you got to do is take a craft knife or an X-Acto knife or a razor knife and trim it. It's pretty easy. Just be careful when you're dealing with sharp stuff. And it's actually pretty satisfying to trim those extras off. <laughs> okay? And just go through, like here's a little bit, little oh, fiddly bits, little fiddly bits. Get rid of the fiddly bits, right? As long as you're not doing it, um, like putting too much force, you're fine. Okay. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get it painted. We're using a. Let me do this part. Okay. You could say please. <laughs> <laughs> so grabby. Um, Hawking all the fun stuff. This is a chalk type paint, so it's minerally and rich, and we love those type of paints. Most mm -hmm. of the time, that's the type of paint that we're doing our main coats with. It bonds well, works fabulous on the resin pieces. Yeah. You don't have to texture. prep texture. your projects texture. as much yeah. with this type of paint. Texture. Mm -hmm. Lots of yummy texture. We love that. In fact, if you want to um, increase that texture, let it set up to where it's not quite dry, but mm -hmm. almost, and then go in with your um, paintbrush again and rework it. And so then it's thicker and it yeah. starts to, you can get some of that buildup of brush strokes. Yeah. It's the kind of buildup that usually happens with time, you can recreate. Yeah. With this type of paints. I like to think of the, the, the paints that are the chalk type paints as more like mediums um, for art furniture and art decor. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? As yeah. opposed to like, you don't compare them to like latex paints. They're different and they're just so well suited to these type of projects. True. If somebody wanted to get a hold of that type of paint, where would they go? Where would they find that? Oh, they will find that on our retailer locator because the All vast of majority, stores I think carry. maybe every single one, mm -hmm. carry their favorite brands of um, this type of mineral and chalk type based paints. Yep. And experts, not only with those, but with our IOD products. True, true. We love our stockists. So basically, if you get a hold of one of our stores, it's quite likely that they will have everything you need for this project. Yep. And again, that store locator, you can scroll down and it's in our info. There's yep. a link to it. So after you get this thoroughly painted, then you're going to let it dry. So let's set that aside mm -hmm. and let that dry. Don't you have one already painted and ready for the next step? I was going to be magical about it, but okay, <laughs> fine. I do. And that's ready for the next step. And okay, so I'm going to take just a little bit of... <gasps> Dang, oh, it's a new shirt. Fuss, fuss. Just a little bit of this Artist Acrylic, and I'm using Mars Black. Just a teeny bit down in there. And I'm going to mush it up and then add a little bit of water. Just a smidge to make a color wash. So for those people who are a little more exact out there, what is a smidge? Oh. Two parts to one part, approximately. I would say approximately. You're gonna get like, let um, me see. Like two to one. Two to one. Yeah. Two parts water, one part paint. Yeah. 
I'd say that's good. And you're going to have a damp paper towel, um, wet it and then squeeze it all the way out so it's not soppy and wet. And then you are going to go on pretty freely. So make sure your paint is nice and dry yeah. before you go on and do this part. Exactly, so that you're not lifting it back up. Many times you can reactivate it when you don't mean to. And then you're gonna just wipe it ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. off. Isn't that awesome? And then dab. So pretty. And that's when you start just really oh, seeing that dimension. Popping the detail and dimension. Isn't that fun? Honestly, it's pretty just like that. It is. And actually, depending on the style of your tree and your mm -hmm. Christmas decor, you might just go with this. Yeah, but, and even the white was pretty. So oh, totally. every step of the right? angel is Imagine a different look. This with just a little bit of shimmer, like mm -hmm. um what is that type of fine glitter? Yeah. So this is probably going, yeah, totally. You could do that, that. Exactly. However you want your angel. Key here is always have this damp and mm -hmm. on standby so that Get a little you bit don't. In the, yeah, there. So it doesn't look like she was eating and got <laughs> eating, stuck eating in some the chocolate, side of her some mouth. white chocolate. <laughs> Have this ready so that it um, you can get it uh, softened and removed before it sets up. Mm -hmm. And uh. so let's go ahead and let this dry. And then what do you think about adding a little bit of gilding? We did it on the other one. I really like mm -hmm. it. You think they'd like to see that? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So we're using some adhesive size here that is meant especially for gold leafing. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not the only way to do it. You can use other types of adhesive and lots of people experiment and play with different types. How long? Oh, so we didn't even hardly let this dry. Yeah, just let Maybe it. Maybe not even five minutes. Just yeah, it's dry to the dry. touch. It's pretty dry. I mean, you want it dry. Ideally. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if you get impatient, yeah. it's all good. So I want to get this to where it's not sloppy because we're just going um, to hit touch. tops. Mm -hmm. of it we're not going to get it really solid so mm -hmm. gonna go in like that and just kind of boom like that mm -hmm. now let's go ahead and let that set up because with the sizing you want it to get like sticky it yeah it kind of dries but it doesn't really get dry it stays tacky you don't want to go on too heavy because then it stays too tacky so go on thin kind of dry and let that set up until it is tacky to the touch and then bada ba bing gold then we're golden then we're golden <laughs> in fact i see a little bit of a puddle there i want to get rid of Okay, can I do the gold leafing part? I guess. He's gone to do everything. I guess. <laughs> okay, so this is real gold leaf, but there are less expensive options that aren't actual gold that you can get as well. Yeah. Is that dry enough? Not yet. Okay. This is kind of cool come, though. And it is. It's very, very cool. It's a little different. Usually, gold leaf is loose. Mm -hmm. I like this. I like you this. Still, style. It's still delicate, mm -hmm. but it gives you a little more control. So, it's kind of it's on a backing. Yeah. Now, usually, when you're using gold leaf, you for sure don't want to be doing it in a breezy environment. Mm -hmm. It can be a big mess. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Gold leaf But for everywhere. real, I'm always breaking those rules. And usually sorry, so. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. So. All right. Oh, let me get you a burnishing brush. You go ahead and get started. Okay. So with the gold down, see how delicate you can see already. Just my fingers are lifting that. With the gold down, you just press it on. Like so. And you also okay. want to make sure you don't have the stickies onto and your then you lift. And then you take I know fingers. My, my fingers were probably a little bit sticky, but clean dry fingers make it so you don't get it stuck on you and waste it, but right. You don't want to waste the gold leafing. 
Okay, and then loving that to that little spot in her face. There we go. Then <laughs> you're such a brat. Fine. No, Fine. no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do half. No. Do half, okay. and I'll do the other I'll half. I'll do right up to her nose. Okay. Ooh, I'm just gonna it's so fun. gently. This is a Kimmel hairbrush. It's oh, super right. soft. That's an important. So it just really point. works. It, it has in to be there. a certain kind of brush, a very very soft brush. When we were little, and we always had to share Wait, a room. I'm kind of scared. What what story are you? We would tell? put tape across the middle oh, of our room, right. and this room totally reminds me of I that. I know hair. because Going I want to right tape hop her face, or you're gonna go into my half. All right, this is very fun. If you've never done gold leaf before, you really should try. It's very satisfying mm -hmm. and fun. You can kind of use that burnishing brush to um, move the gilding around a little bit too, if you need to. I'm loving this. I let, You could go solid or a, as much or little as you want. Can the because um, I'm newer to this than Josie is, can the gold leaf, I mean, I'm sorry, the size, the gold size, can that get too dry? Like, That's can I question. go back in right now and the add a little more? The whole purpose when you, yeah, you can um, add more if there's an area that has the, uh, like there's no yeah, size on there's there. there's no size on there. But okay. you could go in with a little brush and dab a little more size and add more to it after if you want. That's true. That would probably be the easier thing to do. Okay. Is, I oh, think that's you know a nice touch, though. Get that I just want to get her too. face a little bit more. That's pretty, mm. though. That is pretty. You just burnish it in. Yeah, that's so fun. Okay. It has a very classic mm -hmm. to it. I love it. I love you it, too. You guys like it? But you know what else? I mean, you're not limited to this kind of classical style, which I do love and really goes on almost any Christmas tree. However, could you see doing this in like verdigris patina with copper highlights? Oh yeah. Or what if you did like boho style in like turquoise and even mm -hmm. with a little veining on it, um, you could add some uh, beading or some macrame. Yeah. You do all kinds of fun things with this. Yeah, absolutely. We're loving it. Beautiful. Well, this came out great. It came out really good. Why don't we give some away? Oh, yeah. We're going to have We three. have a few of them now. So let's give them away. We're going to um, give th one away to three different comments. So comment below uh, for a chance to win this, and we'll ship it out to you for your tree. Okay? Thanks, yeah. guys. Thanks for Thanks joining guys us. Thanks for watching. We are going to have a lot more Christmas projects holiday projects so stay with us make sure you stay tuned because we are going to be coming at you like twice a week three times a week with projects so stay tuned okay thank check you that. Bye, merry guys. christmas merry christmas cinnamon sweater vests and castles in the sky